Hello, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warbands, the Town Kingdoms mod. I'm your host, Marcus. Well, I'm at peace with the three factions that still have land. But I'm going to change that. Um, after last time, uh, I went up to Kirol. I handed over a few knights for a mission uh, there. Went up to Kudan. I had a lord in there that <clears throat> I'd lent one of my companions to, and I was given that companion back. I also fought a tournament in Kudan. I then moved down to Ravidin, and uh, well, there's this caravan from Kiro. I'm going to see what I can do about that. Um, what do you want? We paid our toll to you less than three days ago. I did ask a toll from him. Well, first. Hand over all your goods and money. Okay. Kiror doesn't like that. Never. It is our duty to protect these goods. You shall have to fight us, brigand. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We're in negative relation, so I can attack Kiror. I'll take the castles first, because I want to leave caravans around that I can provoke, if need be. Anyway, I'll cut away here and... Come back when I'm fighting Boy in a Leg or something. See you in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I created these caravans to take goods to Sumja, but because they are commoners and I attacked uh, one of the kings that happened to be aligned with the commoners, uh, they don't like me. <laughs> that's That's funny. I'd hope to collect a few extra soldiers from Sumja. Hmm. I also tried to take a mission from Kudan to hunt down a deserter party, which is probably this one. But suddenly it said, oh, there's... um." They've been taken out by another party. That's a little bugged in this mod. So. I suspect a few of my caravans are going to get taken out by looters. But I think I'm just going to go down to Ismerala. Take that out. And I can't do any town village missions for some reason. Must be a... Um, I don't know, another bug as I get near the end. Hmm. More money in the bank, that's nice. There they are. Oh, following me, is he? <laughs> That's nice. When I'm done, you'll regret ever leaving your army. Capture a few prisoners. Mm. Cavalry, hold back. I want to do this myself. Sometimes when I'm fighting a small number of enemies, I like to fight them by myself.
Hmm. Boya Mariga. Ooh, more deserters. Perfect. More soldiers to throw into the garrison, I suppose. Ah, he's following me. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I suppose that lord isn't helping. Then again, they are deserters. The enemies of all. <laughs> Archers, hold up here, I think. Right there. That'll get them close. That is assuming our cavalry doesn't cut through them all. done. No casualties on our side. Very nice. The last thief I will take from them will be Kira. leaders. And Mariga. Yes. Tell me. I don't want to go off on a corner plot. No, that's fine. Surrender or die. Hmm. That corner plot was for your benefit. Oh. <laughs> uh, now then. <clears throat> Archers, prepare to hold this little hill over here. Right there. I am very much looking forward to Banner Lord. already. I suppose I am quite a renowned warrior, <laughs> considering the fact I have probably 7,000 renown. <laughs> That's the benefit of having large battles in this mod. Plenty of renown to go around. Ah, 
I'll go chase after these cowards. That's right. Run. You would have done better to flee instead of coming back. And we have our victory. Good job, everyone. Just gonna head over there. in the mix. Well, that'll make things mildly entertaining. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I'm getting this mod done. The Barry Sultanate, I might just attack some villagers just to provoke them. And then destroy them. No need to hold back anymore. My victory will be absolute. Hold up here. Hmm. Right there. There. No need for strategy, just ride them down. kill one of my soldiers and they're not going to be lucky by what I've seen nearly over.
actually get a few kills with these archers up here. That is, if I went here. <laughs> And another win. You're free to go. I don't care about you. <laughs> anyway, I'll cut away here and uh, come back after I've sold my loot in a nearby village in exchange for, I don't know, silk or something. See you then. Okay, we're back. I bought some grain in Ismerala and sold with some of the cheaper loot I had. Prepare the ladders. That little deserter is going to attack me. I suppose I'll deal with them. Hmm. There. Cavalry. Over there. But I'm close. I'll call you in. Archers over there. Cavalry charging. Hmm. I guess one of my I guess my Vega veterans are classified as infantry, so that kind of charged in. Sometimes I classify them as cavalry because a few of them are on horseback. A little injured, but that's fine. There we go. Took out a few. Soldiers to throw inside when I'm done. Surrender. The commoners will never abandon the Esmeralda castle. Only one hour remains, so let's attack now. Hmm. Oh! I didn't. I don't really need to bring my blunt weapon, I have plenty of prisoners. <laughs> Archers, ho right here. I'll take a few shots at them. Charging. No need to hold back. The castle will fall. Now then. You men, go over here. Overcharging.
Come on. Let's go. Dead man. <laughs> and it's over. I don't think I'll have to fight in the castle. Mm -hmm. I did not. I'll throw 300 inside and um, keep moving. Who do I not want? There we go. More Huskarls. Some more useless loot. <laughs> hundred inside. Then again there is a patrol coming around the corner that's supposed to be going to Sargoth so why not? Maybe I'll throw 100 inside. Masters. Mm -hmm. That'll do. Over a hundred. I'll tell him to go inside his Marala. Hmm. Oh. I'll leave you in peace. I guess he wasn't one of mine. Occasionally there are patrols that appear around my fortresses that are not mine. Should have put more soldiers inside. Oh well, we'll get a patrol around Ravidin. Anyway, I'll cut away here and come back a bit later. See you then. Okay, we're back. Um, after taking Esmeralda Castle, I fought one enemy party right here. Uh, I'm going to send a patrol around Ravidin into Ismarala, but first the Principality of Rivercheg has declared war on us, so I'm going to fight these troops with only 300 men. I'll actually get a little renown for this because I have so few soldiers. <laughs> Surrender or die. Mm -hmm. Though I'm rather confident I'll win. Even so, I'll Hold back here with my archers and infantry. Have the cavalry pull back after we've bloodied the nose. Oh yeah. Looks as though they're already charging in. Good. Um, 
recharging. Get to recharge as well. Most of my troops are Vegas, a few mega Vega marksmen and several Vega knights and horsemen. The enemy doesn't have a great number of knights, but they do have a large number of horsemen. So this should be fun. <laughs> they outnumber us more than two to one. charge in soon. Have them move up a little. Once we've secured this hill position here. And where are the enemy coming in from? Down there somewhere? Over there. Archers move up here. Actually, right here. No, no, over there. Definitely over there. I only have mm, somewhere between 20 and 30 archers, so I should conserve them. In the event we come into a very hilly terrain. not see that coming. Is so close. Archers fall back. Right here. Hmm. Should not underestimate them. At least not right now. And they do have superior numbers. Should have a few good prisoners from this. Not that I need the money. <laughs> we'll then move on to Slek Castle in the next video. And uh... yes, I think that will do. charge in. There's only a few stragglers left. And we have our victory. Too. Acceptable, I suppose. I'll show the first three rounds and the last round, I suppose, to limit the length of this video. A certain um person has been commenting that my videos are too long, so I've been trying to limit them. But I should probably hold the infantry back too. Cavalry. Prepare to fall back once they charge in. Okay, they're charging in. Good. Fall back. Oh, wait, they're not charging in, they're just 
changing position, I suppose. Still being stupid, aren't they? <laughs> That's fine with me. Let my archers kill them. Oh. Charge in there. Infantry, charge. No need to hold back. They're close enough. Mm. It's hard to tell whose soldiers are whose because I have mostly Vega troops, or at least half of them are Vegas. <laughs> Round two is done. Now for round three. Archers out here. Infantry up there. Cavalry, I'll tell you when to fall back. They're holding the line formation. Vegas do like their axes. <clears throat> Okay, charge, infantry, charge. They're close enough. Now, is this new wave the second wave or the third? I wasn't really paying attention to the waves. Mm, he has a spear. Not going to charge into that. And we seem to have won. Okay. Well, I suppose I'll cut away here and come back in a moment. See you then.
Okay, we're back. This is the last round. And I suppose I'll go and cut them down. After this, I think I'll end the video off. Hmm. No need to hold back or fall back. Archers, hold right there. Oh, better yet, hold right here. Close, but not on top of them. Not that they'll be able to do much. I cut away for were much the same as the previous ones, so no real use showing them. Hmm. And it's over. We have our victory. <laughs> Krahask. Should I capture him? Hmm, that's a good question. You're my prisoner. No one really hates that. You're free to go. And King Urus escaped. It's fine. Refill our numbers a bit. Horsemen, a few knights, marksmen, Vega Guard. Hmm. I think the archers and infantry sell for the same amount. And I think that will do it. We've gotten rid of a small enemy army on our border. Excellent. Lame horse. Also that. Another lame horse. I like to wait until they're fully healed. That's why I keep a few down there. <laughs> Don't really care about the sway backed horses. I tried keeping one in my inventory for a long time, but they never stopped being sway-backed, I remember once. Hmm. Of course, I suppose it doesn't matter. Just a small amount of money anyway. Leave the rest. And there we go. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll go after Slick Castle next time. See you then.